we go. First job is taking out the back of the, I don't even know what it's called. Like this is how ignorant, ignorant I am to building a van. Like the back of the cab, I don't know. Taking this out, first to screws out, literally the first job on the van. have just ripped out all of the ply we're trying to get out all of these plastic panels and just get it empty so the auto electrician can come and help us out with the wiring and let us know where well what he thinks well we're going to tell him where our appliances are going to go and what our general plan is and then he can give us an idea on the electrical and i'll probably hire him to do it all <laughs> to take that off of our hands um, I do have a friend who has done a van build before in Australia and they did say that the cost of getting all the pieces for the electrical and doing it yourself is almost the same as it is to just hire somebody to do it for you. Um, and they're a professional, so that's what we're going to do. So now we're just using this massive crowbar thing. It's actually really fun and really therapeutic and I'm getting out a lot of my anger out with this. See, this is a real passion project. I'm actually like literally and figuratively putting my life back together again. <laughs> and in order to put your life back together again and rebuild from you, there has to be destruction. So that's where we're up to. being on camera uh, must still be screwed up oh, yeah. didn't, I, didn't unscrew yeah. that one uh. Day two. Another day in van life. Today we're working on the framing. So I just went and picked up the right screws because we didn't get the right ones yesterday. Just to show you guys, like you can literally learn anything. Like you can start from anywhere. I'm building my own tiny home on wheels and I didn't even know what a freaking screw was. Like I, I really had to double think like is this a screw like is this what a screw is so if I can build a tiny home without knowing what a screw is I think you can pretty much do anything mistake number one lesson learned number one always double check what you're getting so do you want to tell YouTube what you're doing while you oh, while you're doing it well what we're doing is a framework inside the van uh, which does basically all four sides of the van and these timber joists if you like are at 500 millimeter centers from the cabin of the van from the end one at the, at the um, front of the van all the way to the back of the van so that in future once you've co covered it all over with our internal cladding Chloe will be able to find where they all are if she needs to fix anything to the walls, floor or ceiling. And how wide are they or how deep are they? These, I've milled these on the table saw so that they are, um, they started off as 90 by 35 mil and we've now milled each piece into four so that we've got 35 mil 
by about 21 mil of fixing all of these joists to the metalwork using silicon behind and in the in the hole of the drill just to prevent rust and uh, minimize vibration we've used self-tapping metal screws to screw these in and they're as solid as a rock it pays to have someone who knows what they're doing <coughs> doesn't it otherwise this would have taken me a hell of a lot longer and i probably would have made a lot of more mistakes and you want me to hold them for you while you drill might be easier okay put a bit of silicon oh we'll oh, drill no. a drill hole first up okay drill holes and this is drill Remember what a drill is. You're going to go there. Yep. Are you going the wrong way? I don't think so. Yeah, you are. Mm. That's it. Yep. Done. Done. One down, 17,000 million to go. <laughs> So today our goal is to finish off the framing and the walls and then we're gonna start with the, the roof framing uh, We'll start with the roof framing and see how we travel with that in terms of uh, How much we have left over but I'm pretty sure we will have enough to do all of the roof framing and Then the floor framing will do last. Let's get into it then. Let's get into it <laughs> Go. What we might do is just get one screw in the middle in each one. Yeah. And then it becomes a one man job. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Day four. Happy Sunday everyone! I had a quick trip to Mitre 10 this morning to pick up some stuff, some liquid nails and some foil tape because we're going to start doing the floors today. We've finished the framing for the walls and the ceiling um, and yeah, starting to work on the floors. I am just actually siliconing in these holes here so we can prevent any rust or p potential water that's going to come through. And once these are up, we've got Clive's who, who's cutting the framing for the floor. And we're going to start laying down the framing for the floor, getting everything ready for next step, which will be shower frame, bed frame. A couple of things that I've learned so far is definitely make a list of like all of the tasks that you need to do A to Z from like the things you need to get done first to last because of the pandemic and the situation and things being so slow to arrive, you can order something and it takes like weeks to arrive. So I've like already ordered all the insulation and the sound editing pads for the next step and that's already had delays. So now I'm like, okay, how can I prevent that happening? So I'm looking already at the next steps, um, obviously after the auto electrician, and I'm going to start ordering the things that I need now, because seriously, the delays are the things on the order of the stuff that we need are the things that are going to delay us the most. 
and I want to make this fan build quicker, as quick as it possibly can be. We originally started off with timber that was 22 millimetres thick, um, which is what we're about to put on the floor. But I've just run it through the uh, thicknesser and I've run them down to 15 mil, which is the thickness of our insulation. So that it'll all be the same. Of the foil boards. Of the, the foil insulation. Um, so I've made them 16 mil thick. And then we'll be able to easily tape them all up. 16 or 15? 15 mil. Oh. Oh, well, I've made them 16 mil just for a little bit of play. Why is that? Um, because if the boards are lower than the insulation, it will mean that the insulation is actually supporting our plywood floor rather than the timber in, uh, supporting it. <music> One eternity later. So today we are going to finish off the floors and get the insulation installed. So what we're using is this foil board stuff, uh, 15 millimeters thick that we just picked up from Mitre 10. You can get it at Bunnings. Uh, because we are in Australia, we don't really need to have such a big insulation system on the flooring. So we're just going to use this, chop it up, put it in between the framing, and then we're actually going to use the ply that came with the van and pop that on on top. That way we can actually start on our framing, and that's pretty, pretty much as far as we can get in order to hand it over to the electrician. Someone just drove past and was watching me talk at myself to the camera. I'm wonky, but I'm wonky in the right way. Because my friends are wonky, as well as the foil board, and the two wonkiness merges together. I don't even know if I'm supposed to put the green part up or this part up. I'm guessing that will reflect the heat from the bottom. I don't know, but it feels right so I'm going with it. Thank <laughs> you. 